we have shown you many images of cars and people who were stuck in the floods today. One North Charleston neighborhood residents say it's the worst they've seen in decades, possibly ever. Yeah, we're going to head back out to Matt Alba, who has been in North Charleston all day. Matt, you talked to several residents today who had their homes flooded out there. Hey, that's right. Uh, all, all day today, we were on Sproul Avenue, and it was just unbelievable. Three feet of water in some people's homes. Um, you know, they said some of them have actually come here for shelter. Some of them had to get out of their homes. They're staying with family members. Right now, again, we're at the American Red Cross at the United Methodist Church in North Charleston. Um, we just got word that they may be bringing some other people from another shelter to this shelter um, because the roads out there are so bad. But we also spoke with some people. One woman who says she's lived on Sproul her entire life and uh, she had to evacuate. Right now, I need some help. On Saturday morning, Kathy Jefferson says the soaking wet scene outside her home on Sproul Avenue was something she's never seen before. When I got up, the car was covered, the flowers were floating in the yard, and I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't get out. Help! Kathy says she called her daughter, Jermel, who immediately came to her mother's aid. I immediately got in my car and drove over here. When I got here, she was standing on the porch at first, and then all of a sudden she was in the yard. Kathy says she then jumped into the deep water outside her home, the water up over her waist. I mean, it was up to her chest. It was up to her chest. It wasn't past the car yet, but... Um, it was just horrible. Kathy's home and some of the surrounding properties absolutely pounded with rain. My house is totally full of water. Uh, the floors are all damaged. The furniture is all wet. You know, everything is gone. With countless cars submerged all around them, residents in this North Charleston neighborhood say it's something out of a nightmare. They're pretty much flooded out. Some have evacuated, as you can see, some are still in. Michael Nesbitt is an actor who lives in Los Angeles but grew up in Charleston. He also could not believe his eyes. I've just never seen anything like this here before. I mean, we could use the rain in L.A. instead of you guys getting it like this, man. It's just a lot of water. And with cars and trucks cruising around the block streets and barricades, some families say this is now causing even more damage to their homes. You know, she was telling them, no, don't come. And they were just coming and the water was just just moving like it was like a wave like just pushing us out the way now tonight kathy jefferson says she will be staying with her daughter luckily she has that option but for the people out there you or your family members who don't have that option you can always come here united methodist church where it is a shelter sponsored by the american red cross we'll have more updates on twitter and on count on throughout the night but uh you want to stay with us we'll be right back